USAID approaches global health security using a One Health approach. And it's this idea that the health of people is connected with the health of animals in our shared environment. And so when we're looking at that, we, we noticed that there was a lack of wildlife professionals, that there were quite a number of human health, uh, public health doctors, nurses, frontline workers, but the wildlife professionals um, were missing. Around approximately 70-75% of infectious disease comes from zoonosis, which are uh, diseases that originate in animals in the environment and then cross over to humans. Uh, COVID-19 is a great example of that, um, Ebola. Um, those are you know, the ones that are more of the pandemics. And so if we wanted to have a, a stronger workforce that's better prepared to address emerging um, pandemic threats, that we needed to bolster up the wildlife leg. For partner countries to have these capacities, a well-trained workforce that is capable of communicating and coordinating across these sectors is essential. We focus primarily on developing the master's programs. We also intended this program to not only fill the technical gap with the wildlife professionals, but to ensure that the, these professionals not only have the expertise in wildlife management and surveillance, but they also have the, the soft skills in leadership, communication, management. Really the project led a lot of this effort and what they did is consulted uh, locally with um, ministry officials from relevant agencies, other uh, key stakeholders, the universities, uh, faculty and leadership, employers outside of, of government. They did uh, workshops where they focused on assessing workforce capacity and needs. And it was through those workshops with all of these uh, various stakeholders that they realized there was such a critical gap that needed to be addressed. And from that, they discussed with the, you know, the potential employers, be it public or private, what their, what their needs are, confirmed them and confirmed what level of uh, education would be most appropriate. With the embedded scholarships, it's our hope that we will have in place wildlife surveillance and management professionals who are capable of and who have the skills and are able to prevent, detect, and respond to these pandemic, epidemic, and other public health emergencies as early as possible before they take place. Uh -huh.